Listen, I use Canva every single day and it never ceases to amaze me. And one of the latest things I discovered is mail merge right inside of Canva, which means that we no longer have to add our clients' names individually one by one within our Canva designs. We can now bulk create all of our postcards or flyers and send them right to our audience without all of that extra work. And you can do that in Canva, which is so cool and why I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. All right, here we are inside of Canva and I just brought in one of our postcard slash flyers from our membership, The Mark Collective, and I'm going to show you how to do it with something like this, which is more ad mail style. But if you're looking for postcards that actually have the little space where you can put your client's name and address and all of that good stuff, it'll work for that as well. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is pop in our placeholder text. So I'm gonna say first name, and I'm gonna justify it to the right, make the box big enough for bigger names. And then I'm going to duplicate this box so you can right click duplicate or just use the short code there. And I'm gonna bring this box right over here and then I'm going to left justify it. I'm gonna select these two boxes and tidy up, but they're already tidy so I don't need to do that. And then I'm going to pop it right to the middle so it says ready to sell first name last name when you see that purple line come up in canva that means that you are center so i can release i'm going to change the text in this box to last name and now we have our beautiful placeholder for first name and last name and let me remove this once we have our placeholder text in place we're going to select the apps tab and type in bulk create enter and it's this app right here and now we're going to be given the option to enter our data manually which you absolutely can do if you only have a few or upload our data so if you have a spreadsheet or a google sheet or an excel spreadsheet with all of your client info or this even works if you want to download it from a lot of email service providers allow you to download your contact list and it will download in the correct format in a csv file so you can do that as well now once you upload your csv file it's going to look very similar to this and you have the option now to edit anything that you want to edit so let's say that the email is included and you don't want this column just delete the column now the reason why i did first name and last name as placeholders is because most email service providers when you download your email list they separate the first and last name it won't look like this so instead what we're going to do is type in first name and then instead of email we're going to type in last name and then john and then Smith and then I'm gonna do a few more so let's just do it with four just to make this super simple we have John Smith Jane Monroe Lisa Turtle and Zach Morris if you know who that is comment below <laughs> and we're gonna click done and now you'll see that what Canva does is it automatically says first name last name we have it all organized for us here the only thing left to do is select our placeholder text right click and select connect data and then Canva will allow us to choose between first and last name. So what's this placeholder for? First name. What's this placeholder for? Last name. And now it's connected and all we have to do is select continue. And when I select continue, it's gonna say, do you want all of these names? Yes, I do. Generate four designs. And now we're going to have these designs auto populate for us. You can see here, John Smith, Jane Monroe, now what I love about the bulk create inside of Canva is as you can see, it's also included the second page, even though there was no data to include on the second page. The reason why I love this is because in my experience, when I send things to the printer, they want the first and last page, the front and the back of the design for every single different card. So this makes it super easy because it's all ready for you. All you have to do is download this one file and send it to the printer and you're good to go. And now you can just look over your postcards and see if there's any adjustments that you'd like to make. Sometimes if somebody has a longer address, you might need to pull out that address block a little bit, but for the most part, it's going to be a quite a simple and streamlined process and that is it now you know how to mail merge inside of canva if you like this video hit like if you have any comments or questions drop them in the comment section below and if you want to be notified of more videos that come out on my channel just click subscribe and you will be notified happy designing my friends